we call these analytics spikes and dips the flames of youtube and they can be a bit off-putting you know you, you if you're here you're on top of the world and then suddenly it dives down and you start to feel a bit fed up and then oh it comes up and then it goes back down again but really this is this is a good thing the fact that your views go up and down is good because this is youtube's algorithm experimenting with your videos and showing them to different audiences and seeing whether or not um they get good traction, whether or not they work. I think there's this uh, kind of idea within um, YouTubers sometimes that it's us having to beat the algorithm. In other words, the algorithm is is some sort of nefarious enemy that we need to try and defeat and win in order to get views. But nothing could be further from the truth. The algorithm is on your side because the algorithm and you both have the same objectives, which is to get your videos out to a wider audience and get you more exposure because um, it's nothing to do with the goodness of their heart. YouTube only makes money when um, videos that the customers want to watch are put in front of them and they watch them, therefore they can serve up adverts. So you and the algorithm have the same objective. This is the algorithm doing its job for you by trying different audiences. So these flames are natural. If it was a straight line, that's that's more worrying, frankly. Um, but if you're feeling a bit low because you've just come off of a peak or you, you think that your videos are crashing, try this. Change the time scale to a, a, a longer time scale. So 365 days, for instance, in my case. Now that is clearly an uptrend. <laughs> try squinting your eyes as well if you like um, but I had a dip now and I've noticed today suddenly some of my videos are taken off and it'll suddenly go higher and higher so be patient the algorithm is working for you not against you of course in order to get it really working for you then you need to produce videos that people want to watch and in order to do that you need to know how to interpret the analytics to find clues as to what you're doing right and what you're doing wrong if you need help with that all you have to do is give me money